Hey guys, so this is a video on the Eskimo Stingray 33cc uh, ice auger, 8 inch auger. Um, I wanted to do a quick video on um, an issue that seems to be going around about these and other models that are similar to this is um, when you prime this that it leaks fuel everywhere and it's sort of a design flaw uh, from the manufacturer but I have noticed a way to do this without creating a mess. So first thing I want to point out is the um, um, your choke lever here. Um, so how everybody thinks that they're supposed to um, prime this is set it to choke, prime it a couple times, and give it a pull. Well, what I found is the best way to do that is first flip it to run, prime it twice, and then flip it to choke then start it. And the reason I say that, and I've loosened this off so I can show you, um, I've already taken that bolt out. If you pull this off and pull it back off to the side, this is the sponge and this is what's designed to do two things. One, it's supposed to be an air filter and two, it's what holds the fuel after you prime it. This little piece of fuel line is all you have for a primer and it feeds right into the carburetor. Now I didn't want to take it apart any further but see this little door? This is your choke lever. This is what chokes out the carburetor. So this is why I say when people turn it to choke, so if you flip this to choke, it covers the actual carb. So you're just throwing fuel all inside here and in the sponge, which I think is an issue. So if you flip it to run, you can actually squirt the fuel in the carburetor and then flip it to choke then start it. If you do that, it prevents you from just splashing fuel all inside it and it helps it start a lot easier. So yeah, uh, I really like this product. It's a great ice auger. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd point that out to people. Uh, thanks. Have a good one.